Meet Chimp, a CMU Robotics Institute for Disaster Response robot that can boldly go to places where no human can. It may look a little slow, a little clunky, but it packs enough artificial intelligence to work with little human help. That artificial brain power is fueling a robotics revolution that's underway here at Pittsburgh's Carnegie Mellon University. It's a revolution led by a team of talent from all over the world. Researchers like French-born Martial Hébert, an expert in helping computers to see. He says this is an unprecedented moment. In terms of sensing, we can now have cameras that are very inexpensive. We can have computing that is uh, very powerful and very inexpensive. Uh, all of this together with basic advances in algorithm development uh, enable things that were simply not possible just a few years back. Sensing technology can also help make factories smarter, not just robots. David Bourne is developing a system to monitor huge production lines in China. All of a sudden, 10 people rush over to an area and we realize that part of the manufacturing process is having a problem because of the people. The people know that there's a problem, but this is a way for the system as an environment to understand what's happening in its own space. So we're trying to make the space intelligent. But as the workspace becomes more and more intelligent and manned by more and more robots, will the likes of Chimp one day make us humans redundant? The way the field is evolving is towards robots uh, empowering people. Uh, certainly there are economic disruptions sometimes, okay? Uh, it's not, I'm not going to say that it's completely smooth, you know, as any disruptive uh, technology. But the direction to me is the correct one in the end, is to help people. That's also the goal of Herb, a robot butler designed to help out in the home. For now, its tasks are pretty mundane. I am putting the blue block in the blue bin. But before long, Herb and others like him will be capable of a lot more. It's still early days in the robotics revolution here in Pittsburgh. Noops, I missed.